In this first tutorial on this new series, we are going to learn how we can um, do something that will shortcut our development time. So most of the times uh, you access your models on views by passing them via your controllers, right? So uh, normally you have some code uh, on your controller, you do some operations and at the end you do like return view with and then you pass your model and then on your view you access that model uh, the attributes that you need to then construct your view so what if we have a way that we don't need to always pass the model via the controller but we access it directly via the view so let me give you an example what we do and then how we can work on it on this tutorial so for instance i'm going here to our project and uh, CD Composer Models. And I'm going to create uh, two controllers and two models. So PHP Artisan Make Model Video. So I'm using the learning database and the series. So in this case, you now have here the series, you now have here the video. They are both attached to this table called series and this table called video. Videos. So here, we then had to create the controllers so php artisan make controller have video controller minus minus re minus r and then minus model equals to video and we need to create the series controller exactly the same way there we go so now if i go here to do my resources just uh, sorry to my routes i'm going just to add them here so so route resource and then that's here the uh, videos and then video controller and the same for the series series and then series controller so let's do a quick test here so php artisan route list and we have all the series and videos created here in terms of the routes let's pick up for instance the videos show so if i do um of course i don't have the videos so it's going to give an error but just for us to see oh sorry okay so actually it's not giving an error because it's loading it on the controller so it's fine so if you go here to the controller video controller to the to the show uh, i'm going just to do return view videos show and i say with this is the normal what we should do right what we normally do model and then i say it's the video one so i'm passing the one that comes via implicit binding on the on the route so here it's going to give an error of course because it doesn't have the video show so let's start correcting it resources views let's create here the videos show dot play dot php uh, well p HP and here I say hello our video is and then I say video in this case model title so if I don't have five now it says video one installing composer video two introduction to routing so exactly as we normally do now what I want to avoid now is to pass this uh, model all the time so I want a way that um, when I'm on my video I have a, a global variable called model that always refers to the implicit binding that is passed here on this model in this case Laravel understands that uh, via the routing that I want to load the uh, object model instance with ID equals to one and then of course it passes me here because I'm passing the with model video I want to take this out I want to do this and I do an F5 and I don't want an error I want also for him to translate that model anywhere that I have uh, implicit model binding very well so this is where now the tutorial starts so uh, to do this we need to use view composers so I think you're already familiar with view composers view composers are uh, it's a feature on Laravel that allows you to preload data in your view before loading the controller or after loading the controller action uh, it depends on the create or the compose method that you use so on this case what we need to do is to create a view composer and then try to analyze uh, the route parameters and try to then pass dynamically a variable called model with that 
uh, implicit binding parameter that Laravel already uh, created for us via dependency injection. So let me show what does this mean uh, and uh, and where we can do things. So I'm going, just going again to continue the default code base here. Uh, I will go to the providers app service provider. We can do it here. Uh, in case you have a, a package or a, your own custom service provider, you can do it there. And here is where we start uh, creating that view composer. So I'm, there is several ways for you to create a view composer. So I'm just going to use the the helper view and then I call it composer here. And here starts what we need to do. So basically I want this uh, composer to run on all the views. So this the first is the pattern that you need to give to Laravel. Uh, you can of course give uh, a route name if you want here or uh, pardon me, um, a blade path or in this case uh, you just put you, the wildcard star, it, it allows you to say, okay, any view that is loaded on Laravel, this view composer will load. Now, I don't need to pass it to, um, to a specific class because it, it's just a simple function that we are going to create here. So I'm directly going to create a closure and I'm just going to add the namespace on the top. Okay. And via dependency injection, Laravel already pre-populates this uh, class, this object um, view uh, via uh, dependency injection. So Laravel understands that on this closure, I am referring this class name called view, and he automatically instantiates that and passes me directly here for us to use on. So this view will always refer to actually the view that you are loading here via the via the, the video slash one, in this case, on the controller action. So return view videos show, and it bootstraps that uh, view composer that we have here. So this view will be the view that you want to load here, for instance, on this view videos show dot blade. So let's then continue understanding what we need to do here. So in this case, let's just do a die and dump so we can analyze the results. So route current. So I'm, I'm going to do a, uh, a dump and die, sorry, for this route. Uh, so I'm just going to pad it here and let's do an F5 to see what happens. Here we go. So now let's analyze this route. So this route, uh, illuminate backslash routing dot route. So just a quick tip, if you want to see all the methods, public, private, protected in this case that Laravel has for this route, you can go to a specific, specific URL that we have here on uh, Laravel community. It's this one on the top, Laravel API. And then, of course, you just need to um, refer this one, illuminate routing route. So I'm going to write it here, illuminate routing route. Here we go. And then here, you can see all the attributes and methods that you can access. Uh, and then it gives you, uh, normally, if it doesn't say anything here, it's the public one or uh, if uh, we have the protected here, the type of restriction for the method, you understand that it's only protected, so you cannot access it in case you are instantiating that object, only if you are extending it, as you know. So here, uh, dump and die route current. So again, let's get back here to our example. What do we need? Let's try to search for this parameter binding that we have here, how Laravel does it. So methods, it's just the normal uh, HTTP method that was passed, it was a get or a head for this route, in this case, that's what he refers to. Action, it all the information about the action that you have. The middleware is, in this case, the web, because as you know, when you use the web.php, uh, Laravel by default already loads the, the middleware web there. And then the name of the route name, and then more information about the controller. So nothing here that we need. Uh, controller is actually uh, a refer to your object instantiation that was uh, passed on this video controller in case you need to have it. So for instance, if you go controller and you write um get controller you will access that uh, that object video controller uh that class sorry that you then can do uh, call a method dynamically if you need so this is not what we need and then comes parameters mm, see here we already start to see something so parameters names id1 so if i pass to id2 these parameters already has the implicit binding for the model instance that I need to have here. So this is exactly what we need to have. So in this case, I pass an ID2, as then you see, it gives episode two introduction to routing and more information here. So very well. So this is the way we need to extract it 
to then uh, pass it by um, a global variable that we want to pass to our views. So let's see how you access these parameters. So uh, again, if you go here to our API and you search for parameters, just show to you how I normally do, it says your array parameters, the array of matched parameters. So there might be a method somehow. Let's see. Parameters, get the key value of parameters in the route, see? So this is the one. So in this case, I'm calling parameters and it should me give me an array as it says there. Here we go, array one video, and then this is the one that we need. So we are very close to get it. So it already starts to put like model, let's put it on a variable, route current parameters. In this case, I want the first one. So I'm going to put array first. There is a helper file for from Laravel that does this. And I'm just going to do a dump and die model. And here we go. So video, and here it is. Now, uh, we also need to, if you have now the, 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 vi the video model that is our final objective, the last thing that we need to know is how can we pass it to our view. So here, all we need to do is to access our object here called view. So that was loaded via dependency injection. And then you use the normal method with, and you call it model, and you pass your model. So with these two lines of code, actually can be one, of course, if you just pass this there on the model here. Uh, with these two lines of code, you guarantee that here on the view now, anything that is implicitly binding, you don't need to pass the model there. You just need to use the global variable called model that was loaded via the view composer that was created here. And from there on, you access uh, the model information that you need loaded by the dependency injection here on the fact that Laravel understood that it's a class model class video that you want to pass on. So let's let me show just a quick example. Let's pass this to series and see what happens. So I'm going to load series here. And if I do an F5, see it changed to Laravel updates. Why? Because now Laravel understands by the implicit binding that it's not a video model that I want, but it's a series one. And before loading the view, it loads my view composer, passing the implicit binding uh, relations that he did, in this case, uh, the, the series, because I, I call it here series, and gives me that object to be used on the view composer that we just saw. And all, I, all we did was just to transform into, um, to uh, extract it via these parameters and then create a, an attribute called model. So of course, this is very simple for you. You need to enrich this code, for instance, in case um, you uh, the route doesn't have any models, right? So you also need, for instance, to verify if there is actually parameters, if that parameter is of the type illuminate database mo eloquent model. But again, this is not the, the let's say, the, the range of this class, the scope of this class. So at least now you can understand how to pass a global model uh, to your views. And of course, you can then extend this or use this in other scenarios that you have where you need to have global variables to, to be accessed by, by any view that you have on your application. But well, hope it, this hint was, was good for you and help you on your code. And see you again on the next one. Thank you very much.